As healthcare services grapple with ongoing strikes by doctors and clinical officers, nurses have shouldered the burden of maintaining operations in public hospitals. We are ready to go on strike. However, with the possibility of a nurse's strike looming, there are fears that the public health care system could collapse entirely. SRC being the body that seems to be causing the strikes in Kenya should not take more than one week without giving us a letter of no objection to the negotiated CBA for the nurses. Among their grievances is the government's decision to extend contracts by two years for universal health coverage staff, contrary to the previous agreement of permanent absorption. You know the nurses union has told the members that the government has agreed to absorb you. So they are triggering us to go strike. If that is what they want, we will give them. The multi-agency task force on transition of UHC met and <laughs> observed that it was no longer tenable to have the UHC staff continue serving at the present terms as it contravenes the employment laws. The recent SRC's proposed salary adjustments for medical interns have also met strong opposition from the nurses, further complicating the situation. The terms of payment of internship that is on today is the previous and therefore we won't tell them nothing has changed according to our uh, orders uh, or the direction that we have got from the court. Amid these challenges, calls have been made for timely remittance of statutory deductions to alleviate the financial strain on nurses. Our members are suffering. When they go to the hospitals, they cannot be treated because they are in arrears for the <clears throat> medical covers. They cannot get their pensions. The escalating crisis in the healthcare sector has underscored the pressing need for swift and decisive action from the government to avert a catastrophic breakdown in essential services. Ben Kirira, K24, Nairobi.